Nation's power grid is reported to have collapsed at least 10 times this year alone and still counting. This worrisome situation has been the source of concern and subject to all kinds of speculation among Nigerians. A committee set up by the Minister of Power to investigate this unhealthy trend is ready with its report. I know that the facilities have suffered poor maintenance in the past, but it is not a situation that is not insurmountable. We can correct it. We can reverse it if we all believe in this. It touches on our operations and maintenance culture. And the federal government has taken major steps in ensuring that the entire transmission network is revamped through the various projects that are, have been put into place. The chairman of the committee highlights the key factors responsible for the frequent collapse of the national power grid. Apparently, the installed equipment is outdated. The key deficiencies that threaten grid stability and reliability. One, aging infrastructure. Two, inadequate system protection coordination. Three, unavailability of critical transmission lines and equipment that threaten system reliability and stability. Generating units on availability. Vandalization of critical power related infrastructure actually weakens grid stability. And lack of free governor for the generators. All coordinated maintenance schedule. To remedy the situation in the short and long terms, the committee offers its recommendations. In the long term, enhance distribution network and capacity. Promote decentralized grid management, implement full scale and telecommunication upgrade, modernize grid infrastructure, smart grid, later as we move on, promote and adopt use of reinforced network, replace uh, aged and obsolete equipment. Most of the transmission equipment are not off the shelf. You have to do <coughs> procurement process and all this long get them from uh, outside uh, our environment. So integration of renewable energy resources, and then again, human capacity development. The Minister of Power promises that the solutions proffered by the committee will be studied and diligently implemented in phases to address not just the grid collapses, but also the nation's multiple power problems. Charles Aruka, Arise News.